Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. This one going to show you how to place a video or a photo inside of an object. And this time we're doing screen replacement specifically. So what am I talking about? Let me show you the original video. I'm just going to double click that and hit play. And there we go. We've got somebody just typing on a laptop as you can see here. And we've also got a puppy dog here that's just going to bounce around and do puppy dog things. What have we done? We've gone ahead and taken that empty laptop and we put the puppy dog video inside the laptop. And there's a couple steps to it. Let me show you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of this. And let's just start from scratch. Okay, good. First step, drag and drop your um, screen replacement footage that you're going to be replacing either the object or the screen, if it's a smartphone, laptop, monitor, whatever. And just place it right there. Okay, good. I'm just gonna do maybe eight seconds worth of stuff because I just want to teach you the technique. It doesn't have to be a long video. Okay, so there we go. We've got the video inside of it. The next step is we're going to go ahead and grab the puppy dog footage or whatever you want to be put inside of the object. Put that on top of the original video there. So here we go. Now we've got this puppy dog and it's not the same uh, size as the original video, but that's okay. No big deal. All right, so now we're gonna click on the puppy dog or the other, the track two. It's on video track two. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna double click here. And when you do that, you're gonna see some handles pop out here. So that means basically, if I just move this, I can reduce the size. So I'm just reducing the size of it and I'm just sort of eyeballing it for now. Now I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna to start to move it. And you're gonna see here, it doesn't look like it fits quite right, not even close in fact and not a big deal okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on it and then when i hover i'm going to double click on it actually let me just go ahead and double click on that one and when i hover my mouse out near the edge you're going to see that i can go ahead and rotate this there's a couple ways to rotate it but this is this one works just fine okay good so we've rotated it and yeah it's going to be a little awkward so okay so yeah we're going to need to do some extra work okay not a big deal the next step is we're gonna add an effect to this video track. So the second track that we want to actually pin this into the corners correctly. So this isn't quite a perfect match for the laptop, but we can get it pretty close. What you wanna do is you wanna go to effects up here and you're gonna see something called corner pin. If you don't see it, just type it in like this, corner. And when you type in corner into the effects panel like this, just grab it, drag it and drop it onto that top video. Now, this is the video, of course, that's going inside the laptop. Let's now go to the effect controls panel and you're going to see corner pin. And when you do that, you're gonna see that there are four pins on this and we're gonna be able to move each and every one of them. So let's start with the upper left pin. That's this one right here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move that pin. So you'll see here what I'm doing is I wanna move that pin pretty close to right about there. We want to basically pin it to the corner of the laptop screen. We can of course go in and make some adjustments later. Upper right is this one here. I'm going to pin it to right about, let's go right about, what do you think? Right about there, something like that. Okay, it's still not quite right, but that's okay. Corner lower left, we're going to pin it down and in just like this. And we're going to pin it to right about there and if you want me to zoom in you can always zoom in I'm just doing this by just eyeballing it and now we're gonna pin the lower right I'm gonna pin that lower right one right about yeah, right about there and we don't want any of the white to show if possible so again we can just go ahead and start moving these pins as we see fit just basically we don't want any white except a little bit perhaps and that one will go right about there. Okay, whatever, close enough. Now, if you look at this video, if I hit space bar, that puppy dog in the video is now inside the laptop and it is pinned into the correct position. So that is all there is to it, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up, stay tuned. 